I'm going to start with a couple of anxiety hacks because what I'm finding with a lot of people that I'm talking with, even even meditation teachers, is they're not they're not realizing that when the anxiety levels get beyond a certain threshold, it's very difficult to use the tools of meditation. So yesterday I was speaking to one of my MMTCP colleagues and and just to listen to her sense of relief. This is a mindfulness meditation program and she's a teacher in it. And to hear her relief when I was talking. (laughs) I did. (laughs) I got it working, Tom. (laughs) To hear her relief when I was talking about how our ability to access meditation is very much limited um, to the threshold of anxiety that we're experiencing. So I want to start with some anxiety hacks and lead you in a guided meditation. Then afterwards, we'll have a check-in and some discussion and some uh, shares, okay? So what I'm going to do to begin is I'm going to mute everyone. And um, uh, for right now, I'm going to mute you all. And then I will continue and we can continue uh, the conversation afterwards. So first of all, what I'd like to invite you to do is to begin with humming, just humming with me. And you can, the hum that I'm going to use, which is one that I just recently learned, is that if we hum a voo, voo, voo does something special to our vagal nerve that's different from other hums, and all kinds of humming is good. So I want you to hum, and I want you to put your hand on different parts of your body while you're humming. belly and the other one on your head. And so notice when you are humming the sensations that you feel on your hand that is holding you. And so we can continue humming just a little bit more and just let your hands move to the parts of your body that are feeling the most tension or the most numbness, the most stress. And so now you can use different kinds of humming as you do this. And just let your hand move to different parts of your body. As we stop humming and we just sit for a moment, just notice the weight of your body and the shape of your body. And just let your eyes move from one end of the room to the other. And now I would like to invite you to notice the absence of scary things that are in your room. Really notice what isn't present, what you don't see.
And now just let your eyes rest on something that is soothing and nourishing. And just allow yourself to take in the shape, the color, the comfort. And just notice what happens in your body as you do that. Notice what happens to the tension in your shoulders and in your jaw, behind your eyes. Notice what happens to your breath. Does it get deeper and quieter? Notice if there's any softening in your diaphragm area or in your lower torso. And now I'd like to invite you to join me on an imaginary journey to a very special grove of redwood trees. And as we enter into this grove of redwood trees, the sun is coming through the canopy and the light is soft and dappled on the floor. And as we're walking on the forest floor, it's soft and spongy. And the air is sweet and fragrant. And this grove of redwoods, which I know it is Armstrong redwoods, I'm sure the, Aber the, the First Nations people, mm -hmm. the land there, they called it something different. I don't know that name. There's a waterfall in that grove and there's a stream that runs through the grove. And there's some very beautiful big rocks. And there are all of these redwoods. There's young ones and well-established ones, ancient ones, uh, 800 years old, 1,000 years old, 1,200 years old, 1,400 years old. And some of these redwoods have hollowed out centers of their trunk. And so our job is to just go find a redwood that feels comforting, whether it's by the waterfall or by the stream, whether it's by a big rock, and whether we want to lean against the tree or we want to spread out on the floor right in front of the tree, or whether we want to crawl inside one of the hollows and feel enveloped by the tree. This is our choice. So find the tree that is your tree and just lean up against it it or in it or at the foot of it. And these ancient trees have withstood so much. They've been through storms and fires and droughts. And they're strong and they're resilient. And so we can lean in to their strength. And 
and just let our own body melt and soften. Held physically, energetically by this powerful ancient grove of redwoods that have been standing here for thousands of years. And as we breathe in, we can feel the soft, delicious, sweet air filling us up. And as we breathe out, we just notice how much more we relax. We relax our legs and our hips. We relax our lower torso and our middle torso and our upper torso. We relax our jaw and our mouth and our tongue and the base of our tongue. We relax our smiling muscles in our eyes and behind our eyes. We relax the base of our skull. Breathing in and out and feeling held. Held by this particular tree and held by this whole grove of ancient ones. The air is fresh and moist and the sun is dappled through the canopy. And as easy as it is for us to breathe out, that's how easy it is for the trees to take up the CO2 in our outbreath and through their own photosynthetic process, transform it into oxygen and release it. And so it isn't an effort to give nor is it an effort to receive. It's as easy as breathing in and breathing out. And so as we relax and settle in, we can imagine that every person that we care about deeply is also in this grove with us right now, each at their own tree, each held and supported and protected, each breathing this sweet, fragrant air. each relaxing as they feel safe and held and supported. And we can notice that having them here together with us in the same grove, there's this feeling of closeness, even though physically we're not in contact. We might not even be able to see them, but we know we're here together. And we know that they are safe.
just like we feel safe. Now sometimes what can happen when we start to feel more safe and relaxed is that we can shift our focus of our attention from all the things that we're experiencing, the feelings in our body, the sensations of the of the cloth against our skin or the feeling of the ground underneath us or the tree that we're leaning against. We can shift from the things that we're thinking about or the moods, the feelings that we have. And instead of all of these things, we can focus on the the knowing of them, the witnessing of them. And that too is not an effort. It doesn't have to be an effort. Just like relaxing into light or space or presence is not something that we do, but it's a shift of focus. Of where we lean in. Some may experience it as space, others may experience it as presence, others may experience it as love or clarity or light. For some it might be signless. As we lean in, this is a way of knowing a kind of refuge that is unshakable. It's big enough to hold anything. Just like no matter how much weight we give to this tree, it can hold it. There's nothing we can physically do just by ourselves to this tree. It can hold us. When we lean in to awareness, to the witness of the mind, it's big enough to hold everything. And as we see that, or feel that, or taste that, or get a nuance of that, that's another level of letting go. That I don't have to be the one to figure it all out, or make it right, or fix it. And everything that I'm feeling, the whole mixture, there's room enough for all of it. So 
So drink it in. Let it in. Feel it. Let your nervous system equilibrate with this level of relaxation and peace and ease. Excuse me. And now one of the things that we can know in this spaciousness, in this peaceful abiding, is that there is no separation. Awareness pervades time and space. And so when we lean in in this way, There is no sense of isolation or separation or distance. Our family, everyone that we love, everyone that we cherish and care for, they are right there. So now coming back into our own body experience, feeling your fingers and your toes, wiggling them. You might even want to stretch a little bit. Move your shoulders and your arms. You might want to open your eyes just a fraction and notice the room that you're in and the light that's in the room, the things that are around. And as we come back into awareness of our own body in our own room, what we can remember is that this quality of awareness doesn't disappear when our eyes are open. And that as important as it is to feel held and supported and safe and protected, part of the resiliency of the trees is that their root systems are interconnected. And so if one tree has more than it needs, It sends on the root system the abundance so that a tree a couple hundred feet or meters away can receive the excess if they have lack. So when we look to the trees, part of their resiliency is that they are rooted They stay flexible and able to sway in the wind, weather the storms. 
they are connected in this network with many other trees. And when they have more than they need, they share. And so I invite you to come back into your own body, feeling your weight, feeling the size and the space that you take up. And again, looking around and noticing what is the same and what is different. 